This is what a guy comes to Saskatchewan for right here. in this country. That was a hike and a half, boy. Some people are born with lots of money. Some people are blessed with good looks. Unfortunately for Destry Harris of Mosby, Montana, he was blessed with neither. On the upside though, Destry grew up in a hunter's paradise. I first met Destry a bunch of years ago when he was up in Saskatchewan on a spring black bear hunt with Dave and Les Archer. And since that time, we have become good friends and have entrusted each other's guiding services on a few occasions. And this particular year, Destry is booked to hunt whitetails with me in November. But first, he had to fill a special draw elk tag in his own backyard. Now the reason Destry was letting these good bulls walk was the fact that there was a certain 7x7 in the area that Destry had his sights set on. And even though he hadn't taken an elk in a few years, he was more than willing to take a gamble and hold out 
for the big guy. I might regret passing those two bulls, but there's bigger bulls out here than I have time, so. It's been five or six years since I shot an elk. That's part of guiding. You give up a lot of your, your hunting time, but I've been doing this for about 12 years. This never gets old. This is, this is awesome. The Canadian Guide Life with Brad Fry is brought to you by Monarch Images, trail cameras that capture the action. Fort Muzzle Shell Outfitters, Montana's finest big game hunts. Buddy Ramp, the safe way to get loaded. Big Buck Magazine, Canada's number one deer hunting publication. And by Fry's Canadian Outback Outfitters. Before the break, Destry's first morning out had produced a couple of close encounters with two good bulls. But luckily for them, Destry had been waiting for an even older 7x7 known to frequent the area. A few mornings later, and the wind was finally good again to try for the big guy.
sure he is. He's not 30 yards from where I shot him, and he's done. I couldn't be happier. This, this is just an awesome bull. It's been about five years since I punched a tag, and I couldn't be prouder to, to notch this one. Awesome. A week or so after Destry had caught up with his big bull, and with a few days of the elk season left, Destry headed out one last time to try and fill his cow tag. About 200 of them out here in these hay fields, so hopefully uh, one of them will come this way. I just got a cow tag in my pocket. Uh, shot a nice bull here a week ago, so all done with clients and uh, had a couple days here left. And, Thought I'd try to get, a, get use of that cow tag. Imagine I'll have a lot of bulls in range uh, where I just got that cow tag, but that's all right. Boy, they're screaming out there. That never gets old. We'll see what happens. They're kind of working their way this way. Elk settle down. They're working their way back into the bedding area now and uh, go get her cow. Awesome. What a show this morning. Don't have to track this one much. That's what you want to see. Oh. Uh, she didn't go far. It's a 30 yard shot from the stand there and uh, she's laying about 100, 150 out here. So no blood trail needed on this one. Awesome. She is. Well, what an exciting morning. A lot of elk, bulls fighting, bugling. There's chaos out there. Uh, this girl came by, was able to get a third, good 30 yard broadside shot on her, and she didn't go far. Down, down she went. So get her tagged, get her cleaned up, and uh, out of here. She'll be good eating. Before the break, good friend and fellow guide Destry Harris was back hunting elk in his home state of Montana. Now a few weeks later, and he joined up with me in Saskatchewan, where it was my job to try and keep this lucky streak alive. first morning here in Saskatchewan. Brad dropped me off here this morning. Uh, he said he's seen a nice six by five in here, but he kind of smirked at me and said, uh, do, don't shoot that deer because there's a, a bigger one in here. So I'm excited to, to see the deer here. He's, he said the last couple days been windy and kind of nasty. So he was anticipating some good, uh, good movement today. So uh, excited, we'll see what happens. Now, what I didn't tell Destry 
was that for the past few weeks I've been getting pictures of a pretty unique buck at a few different stands in the area, and although he had been totally nocturnal and nobody had seen him yet, with a two day storm blowing out overnight and with the way Destry's Fall had been going so far, anything was possible. Must be that 6x5 that Brad's talking about. That is an awesome buck. He said there's a bigger one in here, so I guess we'll hold out and see. right there. Look at that. Look at this thing. Oh man. I am speechless. <laughs> he has points everywhere. <laughs> oh man. Well, this is what a guy comes to Saskatchewan for right here. Just a big old gnarly, non-typical. What a buck. there is a good thing. up by the blind. I can hear Brad coming in. Can't wait for him to see him. What'd you get, Dusty? Everywhere. I gotta get the focus out here. Holy smokes, tell me a story. Oh, one o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah. You come in, that other buck that you're seeing in here uh, came in 30 minutes maybe after shooting light. It was there for five minutes and had small bucks and does all all morning and one o'clock he comes stroking over the hill there and hammered him. Nice. That's that's pretty good deer. <laughs> I 
like was driving up and I saw your uh, vest or whatever it was on the road. I, th I was expecting it further down if you got one. I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> that is a toad. Thank you, that man. He is awesome. Oh, it? smells. Okay. He's got some points on him. Were you able to get some video of them? Or? Yeah, got them coming in. Anyways, I didn't mess around very long. My uh, battery was freezing. What'd you well, have for temperature this morning? Uh, this morning it was 23 Celsius. Oh, yeah. It's like that camera kept shutting down, so I was a little nervous. I had the battery under my armpit until oh, I saw it? him coming in and threw stuff together quick, so I didn't mess around too long. Uh, but got good video of him coming in and then the shot and he runs out of frame, so. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous of that guy. Next week on the Canadian Guide Life. Next week, I get to hunt with my most important client of the year, my father-in-law, Ray Juno. Now, whitetails and muleys are the name of the game, and we finally catch up to an old buck we've been after all fall. And when it's all said and done, Ray ends up with a couple of good bucks on the ground, and perhaps even a new nickname. Well, I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs>